Hello beautiful souls, I am Valeria Maritza at Healing Through You. I am an infinite being of light and so are you. Today this transmission is coming through really really strongly. Um, it started when I was walking the dog and I was like, oh I need to get home and record this. So here it is. Um, go with the flow. Use the energies of the planet. Use the energies of the universe to your advantage, not against it. So they're showing me um, fish, right? Fish um, swimming downstream, allowing the water to bring them faster to where they want to go instead of swimming upstream, which that also happens in nature for certain uh, reasons at certain times, um, which is against the, um, the laws of nature, right? Which is difficult, it's more difficult. And what they are showing is pay attention to what you want and pay attention to how easy or how difficult it is to attain it. Because if you, are, if you have a goal, and you're going about the goal to, to receive this goal in a specific way, which is most likely a linear way that you have been taught to achieve, and it becomes hard, you have obstacles, uh, you're being led from here to there, it's not working, right? And you keep going at it because you have endurance and you believe in yourself and you know you can do it because you've done this before, meaning you have uh, set an intention of what you want to do and you've gotten it, right? And so you know that if you set your mind to get something that you will and you're going towards this and you're getting turned down, you're getting uh, misled, you're getting uh, having all kinds of obstacles happening to receive that, but you keep going, right? That's ego. That's your ego. They want you to really be aware of the ego because you did not come to this world to struggle. You did not come to this world to suffer and to learn the lessons that you have been wanting to learn in a really difficult way. You came here to enjoy, to have joy, uh, to find the light, the laughter in everything that you are doing. And so when things are happening that are really um, deep and like struggling for you, it means that you are going down the wrong path. Um, or I should say the most difficult path or one of the most difficult paths. There's an infinite way, an infinite amount of possibilities of which way you can go. But if, if you're going to something and you're going, 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 and you're getting, you know, signal after signal of being turned down, of, of, you know, obstacle after obstacle, that is the universe, your higher self, your guardian angel, whomever it is that you believe in, that you are working with, giving you the signs that it is not well aligned for you. Um, so it's trying to send you back or deter you from going down that path because it is not in your best interest. Now, it can be that it's not in your best interest at that time or it can be that it's just definitely not in your best interest at all, right? And you can continue to go that, down that path because you have free will. So you can choose which way to go. But this is the way that it feels, right? So let's say I want to buy a house. And I'm looking for a house and I find one and I'm like, oh, that's the house, that's the dream house. And, and I start getting my, my stuff together, my paperwork together. And it's like, oh, I don't have this paper. I don't have that paper. And oh, the bank's not, not sending me that document that I need on time. Oh, now I'm going to lose the house. I didn't have all of my paperwork uh, ready. And then someone else bought it because I wasn't ready, right? And you feel defeated, like, oh, I went through all that work. It was so stressful and I didn't get the house. That means the house was not the right one for you. So allow it to leave, allow it to leave your space and allow the universe to bring you what is best for you, meaning it's probably a different home, right? For whatever reasons. So trust the process that when things are happening and they're difficult and you're getting obstacle after obstacle, it is because there's probably something much better for you um, that you are not seeing or looking at, 
life okay so that is really really important you use the energies the forces of the earth that are helping you move through so right now I want you to think because everyone has a specific time of the year that works better for you everybody has and, and it's different for everybody because obviously we're all different individuals um, so think back of last year think back of 2022 and think back of when did you have a really great idea or a breakthrough or something that was just like a big aha or or amazing something that you had the idea and whether you took action on it or not think back of what month this was right and everybody has there's a couple of months in the year it's about three or four months uh, different months obviously in the year that it's like a huge wave of energy where everything aligns behind you like all the planets are aligned to support you in whatever it is you're doing it depends on you know um, your your astral chart of you know where each part of the of the planets are helping you or not right and so this is this has to do with when during the year you are more open to catch that big wave and move mountains in a short amount of time instead of struggling and going the slow way so think back what months did this happen like think back of like what happened and and begin to become aware of this right so I know for a fact um, that for me August and February are huge months August and February are very big months for me and uh, there's two other ones but the biggest ones for me are August and February um, I believe the next one is May but what happens during these months for me is that I get an idea a thought um, an urge to do something and when I take action everything aligns really well and I have really great results and it can be anything it could be oh I want to enroll in a university to, to take this new course or it could be I'm looking for um, a new mentor and I find it in one of these months the person right or a new course or something it is always lands on these months now it spreads out a little bit right so it spreads out for me towards like end of January into February so it's not all of February it's like a couple of weeks in between there and for August it also doesn't go all the way down for me it goes up to like the third week of August which means that it starts uh, probably in the last week of July where the new ideas are coming in and when things work out for me really well so begin to think back of which months things have happened for you in a positive way really easy without resistance in your life and then once you figure out and you begin to make those connections like wait a second I had that that was let's say May that was May last year and you know what this other thing this other huge thing happened in my life and that was also May and this other thing happened and that was also May you begin to make these connections and then you have your your months ready right and so this is a way of doing it without needing to know your astrological chart or your um what do you call it your human design you don't need to know all the of all of these things obviously that helps as well but if you don't know all of this or if it's too much for you you can just figure it out by reflecting back on your life and when things have worked out for you and pinpointing those months and like i said it's going to be like three or four different times of the year when things really work out for you and you will notice the difference you will notice the difference of things really flowing and things going you know getting stuck so I want to talk a little bit more about the ego right so let's say it's a home that you want and you're like no that's the house I'm gonna get that house that's the one I want and you know you do everything that you need to do you stress yourself you jump over huge loops to get it you offer a whole bunch of extra money just so that you can be the highest bidder on that home and then you finally get it and you're like yes I got it I did it I feel so accomplished I know I could do it I set my mind to it and nothing can stop me and here I am now that is a good great feeling and it's amazing when you do it but when you achieve that after going through a lot of stress and a lot of obstacles 
that is not that good because it means that you achieve something that was not in your best interest and you got it anyway but now you're going to see why this wasn't in your best interest so something might happen maybe the house had mold that nobody knew right maybe you didn't, the neighbors are not aligned with you or you don't like them or you have a neighbor that's terrible that you had no idea right i don't know it, it could be anything that is not aligned for you and the universe knows this which is why it's trying to deter you it could be also with a person right let's say you are you have your eyes set on a specific romantic partner and you're going all in for this person and you're getting all of the signs that you know perhaps they're not really that into you it doesn't matter that you're going to win them over you're going to do all the things that you can in order to win them over and uh, you go after it and time after time you have signs that you know perhaps they're not being as truthful with you or maybe it's not the right thing for you but you have your mind and this is important you have your mind set on that person and you do everything that you need to do and you finally end up let's say marrying this person um but it took you like several years for that to happen right and then the marriage dissolves really quickly or you find out really quickly that this was the wrong idea or the wrong person for you right that's what it looks like that's what it feels like when you're going against the grain when you're not using the energies of um of the earth of the universe to help you and when you're not listening to your guys when your guys keep showing you time after time uh signs and hints about how this is not well aligned for you or not for your best interest and you keep doing it anyway that is your mind going towards the goal and you are detaching yourself from your feelings because you know all the time with the feeling of your body whether something is good for you or not so if it is the home and you have your mindset that's ego again I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it then you buy you feel great and then all of these things start happening maybe you know there's a structural thing I don't know whatever right something is not right with it and then you have even more headaches with this house you end up moving you end up selling it because it's just so much of a headache and then you realize oh this is fine or the same thing with that with a romantic partner right now the difference is when you go let's say you again i'm going to use the same two examples you're going to purchase a home and you see it and you have this feeling that's not your mind that's not your ego feeling is your soul it's speaking to you right you have this feeling like oh my gosh this is it and it's a feeling of peace of love of settlement like oh my gosh this is like i feel like i'm at home in this house that i just see right and then you begin to do the paperwork and go through the process and everything happens quickly, smoothly for you. Like, oh, you need this? Oh yeah, okay, I need that paper. Oh, here it is, here you go, there's the paper. Okay, what else? Oh, I need that now, okay. Let me go to the computer. Oh, there it is, I can print it out, I give it to you, and it's that. It's smooth, it's step after step. It doesn't mean that there aren't enough at all steps, but, it, but when they come on, you are able to handle them without the stress you're able to get them really fast without problems and you're able to deliver them in a really quick manner i had this happen um i bought a house many years back in nashville and literally i went online and i found this home on december 30th and i took a drive to the house and i loved it from the outside i called my agent and i said can i see it tomorrow that was the 31st new year's eve and he said yes. I went in. I, I was like, yep, this is the house. Let me put in an offer. Um, that house was mine by January 20-something. End of January, the house was mine. Everything, all the paperwork, all the stuff went through within one month. The inspection, all of the stuff that you're supposed to get, everything happened one month. Okay? Less than a month, actually, because that was the, the 30th and 31st that I said uh, that I put my offer everything happened quickly because it was aligned for me 
right? Same thing with you always, sometimes you see people, right? You, you hang out or you have a, a romantic partner for like years, months, a really long time. It's not going anywhere. You know, you're not, it's not, you're not evolving as a couple. You're not feeling better with each other. You, maybe you're not even getting married. You're spending all this time and then you finally break up. And within a couple of months, you see that one or the other or even both partners find someone else, propose and get married within a year right that is catching the wave of what is being supported for you and you following following what's happening and using the energies of the earth to support you into getting what you want so again this is the message for today is to follow the energies use the energies to your own advantage and you realize what the energies are when you are going in the flow, when things are happening easier for you, and also by not getting upset or deterring yourself from your goal when there's a lot of obstacles on the goal that you want, and realizing that when there's a lot of obstacles is because you're on the wrong path. It is not the best thing for you. When things don't work out, thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for letting me see or letting me know that that was not the best house for me or that was not the best romantic partner for me. Thank you. Now I am so open to receiving um, something that is more aligned with me that is really going to you know, blow my mind. It's going to be so amazing. So thank you, right? And when we make that switch in our minds, it's like, wow, right? Your life begins to just flow. You are in love. You are in, in that beautiful harmony of the earth. You're following the, the energies of the earth that are showing you and sending you here and there. It's kind of like the wind pushing you in the right direction and you are flowing with it to get where you want. Does that make sense? Um, so make sure that you pay attention to how you are following your dreams, your goals, where you want to go, how are you following it? Are you following it with your heart? The feeling of like, this feels good. Or are you going with your head? I'm going to get it no matter what. I don't care how many obstacles, that's fine, right? Do you feel the energy behind the, even the words that when I explain this, right? The energy behind the words are really heavy when I'm saying I'm going to do it no matter what, I don't care. Or... I'm going with the flow because it feels good. This feels light. This makes me feel joyful, right? It's completely different. So go with that flow. Follow the way that your body feels when you're going, to, um, when you're reaching your goals and you're going towards that big goal that you are setting up for yourself. Just flow with the energies and allow the energies to send you to the best places for you because most of the time, it's in a way that you have not even thought about, that it's not in your awareness. It only comes up for you when you allow yourself to be led, right? That's the way it works. Um, and if you don't listen to the subtle uh, messages and whispers that the universe is giving you, then you're going to miss that huge wave. You wait till the next one. And this has to do with those months that I was talking about before, right? When you pinpoint which months of the year are the ones that things happen for you, like I said for me, it's um, February, May, August, I suppose the next one is November. Um, for me, um, if I don't take action when I'm getting it, then I have to wait for the next wave. Nothing happens. It's kind of like I'm just living my life day to day with no change whatsoever, good or bad, until the next wave comes. Um, I, I saw this because I, I did this exercise. Everything that I, that I receive here, it's like it has big aha moments for me as well. I go back. I, I listen to the things, right? And so um, I remember a couple of times this happened to me when I was out of college and I was working on getting my master's and I was thinking about it and I remember this happened to me twice that it was August and I thought uh, and I remember August is one of my big months right and I was like oh there's a class opening up uh, for, for the fall I should do that I, I want to do this. this this feels good 
um, and then not doing anything, right? Life gets in the way, I get lazy, I put it on the side, I don't look at it. And then it was the very end of August, and I was like, oh, that's right, the, the, the semester is about to start, I should look into this to register. And I got to look at the same thing that had arrived in my inbox or in my awareness at the beginning of the month, and guess what? It was too late. I had missed the deadline to register. And therefore, I missed the entire semester because everything was closed. This is actually something that happened to me. And then I realized, I remember that I remember um, that I made that connection back then, thinking, oh, like, I got this huge wave inspiration desire and then let it go. And now it's like, I'm in limbo. There's nothing for me to do. I don't know what to do with myself. That's ex- I felt lost right? Like, what do I do with myself, right? I had to allow the entire semester to go through and I had to sign up for the next one. So I missed the big wave. It was a big aha moment for me, right? And since then, I have been paying attention to when you receive the messages. Somebody told me the other day, you move really fast. Now, if I look at myself and I look at, you know, other people that are in my circle, I feel that I'm not, right? Because I see other people who are moving so much faster than me and that's okay because we all have our own speed and I feel that I'm going at at the right speed for me but somebody said to me you move really fast you don't wait and that is one of the things that I have learned to do because I have missed a lot of waves I have missed my opportunity and my chances a lot of times and I became aware of it I became aware of when they come what they feel like what they look like and also what happens if I let it go. So now when I do get an, an idea, a thought, um, a desire to do something, I act on it right and then. Like I don't even wait. Somebody sent me um, a testimonial the other day and, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And I took it and I put it on my, on my um, documents where I save all the testimonials and I went into my website and I added it to my website and then I went into my Facebook group and I posted it on my Facebook group and then um, the person said if you um, if you need to if you find anything in there that um, you might want to change let me know and I was like oh no it's perfect it's already posted and she's like oh my gosh you move so fast yes I move fast why because I took action right in the middle of my excitement. I was completely excited and grateful to receive this and I took action because that's what the universe was saying. Hey, here you go. Why would I want to wait? Why would I want to hold on to it and keep it, right? The universe is giving me something and here I am sharing it right away. The other thing is that I know myself and I know that when I wait, when I wait for things to happen, like, oh, I'm going to do that later right now, I'm kind of too busy, I usually forget. And then I don't go back to it. It's really hard for me to go back to it. And then I lose it. I lose that wave. And I know this. I know this for myself. And I know it because I have been paying attention. Right? I was not aware of this before. Before it was like things were happening to me. Now I realize things are happening for me. But I also realize that when things happen, I pay attention and I act upon them. I pretty much act upon them. And something else happened yesterday. Somebody... um, reach out to me they uh want they had some questions they wanted to maybe work with me and i had just come home from some other things i was doing i had a live in about an hour from that time and i was just sitting there uh, kind of kind of like thinking like what is it that i need to do next and i got this message and i said hey do you want to jump on a call right now she's like wow yeah sure we got on a call and she ended up signing up with me so i got a new client How did that happen? It happened because I took action right in the moment. I didn't wait. I didn't think. I was like, okay, you know, this is happening. I happened to have the time. Everything was aligned. The universe aligned everything for me. It felt good. And I took action, right? Taking action right away when it feels good. And as you can see, right, the person ended up signing up with me. It wasn't a difficult thing. Most of the people who end up working with me, it's kind of like, they just know. It's just like, yeah, you know, it's it's not a thing uh, of asking, what is this? And let me check. I mean, of course, you know, you, you, pe- people need to find out who you are. They're not going to just blindly do something. But 
I've already learned that there's a lot of people who are in that phase of trusting themselves first, who are always asking for things and mulling things over and talking them over with other people. That is perfectly fine. I was there too. I know that most of those people will not work with me or sign up with me or anyone else because they are not at that level yet. They are still at the level of not trusting the thought, the idea, the tingle of like, oh, this feels good, right? And when we think things over too long, what happens? The weight goes away. And then you have to wait a couple of months before the next one comes up. And actually, just talking about this, I just realized that when I hire my mentor, the one that um, helped me develop my gifts um, and find myself and get into what I'm doing now, which actually she didn't even know this was going to happen. Um, it was more of a healing thing and all, all of these gifts started to appear for me. Not appear, like I remember it, right? Um, that was in August. That was also in August. I signed up with her and it was like second week of August. Imagine that, right? So big, big things happened for me in this month and I want you to think back and pinpoint and figure out which are your big months when is it that big things happen for you and then begin to notice this and when you have a big idea a thought a desire to do something in those months do it and take action right away because when you don't you're going to miss it and then you're going to be like i did many times and just lived in limbo for a couple more months before the next wave comes up All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, if you are looking for guidance and you need some, I have the Crystalline Connection coming up. It is a fantastic way to work with me. You get eight sessions with me back to back of healing connections, amazing results. Um, and that's, that's starting up like this month. It's already February. I can't believe it. How does it get any better than that? And if you want one-on-one um, -on -one help, one-on-one -on -one mentoring I, I also have that so I have quantum leap I have um, so many things that you can just check out on my website my website is healing through you.com and you can just check anything like that um, send me a message whatever you need okay guys I love you so much and I will see you next time bye bye <laughs>